Okay guys, so Angie Pepper's here. Um, I just kind of wanted to do a little quick update and status check on all the pepper plants and things that I've been working on throughout this past uh, several months. Um, it's been quite a while, uh, like I said. Um, I got a few plants, pepper plants going. I got some habanero plants, I got some cayenne pepper, kung pao peppers, jalapenos. Um, I've got some reapers going. Um, I know that I haven't done a late, uh, I haven't done a video lately. Uh, this heat, um, things going on that I had to attend to that I've kind of, I don't want to say I neglected my plants, but I just have a lot more work to do. Um, I am in the works of hopefully um, building a greenhouse. Um, for right now, everything looks kind of basically just everywhere, but I just kind of want to give you an update of what's going on. I know that you guys, those of y'all that are following my channel, have seen me uh, grow plants from the pepper plants from seeds uh, some that I ordered some that were sent to me by mail some of them that I've had through a couple of years that I saved um, so quite a bit of variety of plants uh, that I've got going um, as as you know with this heat uh, we tend to get some uh, flower drops with the temperatures rising and all that so as you can see here, I got my habanero, one of my habanero plants, for example, is starting to, we're starting to produce the flowers again. Uh, some of you, like I said, have been following my channel. Also, you recall uh, a few, couple months ago, uh, the deer went towards to, to the backyard, got in, and they uh, ate a whole lot of the leaves uh, of my plants. Um, just to let you know, I've learned uh, so much in such a short amount of time. Uh, many factors that can contribute to assisting and helping your plants and then some of course ruining your plants through trial and error like I said I'm not an expert but I am learning as I'm going uh, a lot of you guys that have been uh, giving me some tips some groups of uh, uh, hot pepper groups that I'm following on Facebook uh, have been very helpful um, so as you can see right now it's a perfect example right now we are having a little bit of wind I have all the, I have some of my plants here on the porch because I've been working on them like I said slowly but surely um, so most of these are container pots for right now some of them some of these plants have graduated into um, five gallon buckets like I said you can get anywhere from Lowe's or Home Depot or whatever some of these I go to the back of restaurants and sometimes I get rid of these buckets um, if you notice, as the plants start growing, the, their, stems, their stems start thickening up. And what starts happening, of course, the plants start getting heavy. So when rain falls and things like that, uh, sometimes the plant isn't well supported. So either the, 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 the plant will break uh, and then it's just costly because you've gotten all this time. So you wasted all this time working hard to grow these plants and then, you know, with wind or rainwater or something that falls on the plants, then they'll, they'll break. Um, so like I said, a status check, uh, things that I need to uh, work on still, is what I'm gonna start doing is I'm gonna start purchasing uh, some, some tomato cage wire so that I can enforce it around the, the base of the plant. That's gonna help assist. You got these reapers going, which are a lot bigger, a lot thicker, they're gonna get tall. This was probably about, I don't know, maybe about four, Four foot now this is a reaper uh, some things to look for again pests and things like that this looks like it was some sort of worm or something that ate on it so I just got a bottle of um, water and, and dishwashing liquid and just spray your leaves if you want to try to do it like probably in the evenings or real early in the morning you don't want to do it right when the Sun is is right on them uh, another thing that I'm looking at is of course transplants like I said um, these plants are growing rapidly now that I've just kind of gotten a little bit behind. This one's in a Folgers can. Basically, you can plant plants anywhere. Notice this is a jalapeno plant. It's, overall, it's pretty healthy. It's going to start throwing its first peppers, but as you can see, it's in a smaller container. So I'm going to I'm going to more than likely transfer this one into a five-gallon bucket. Um, just keeping an eye on it for right now the temperature is rising above 90 100 degrees these plants will do a lot of flower drops and things like that uh, so a few things to look at 
very very important once these plants start getting bigger look see this one right here i think this one's uh trying to remember what this is a cayenne or Thai pepper i'm sorry so i uh have fallen a little bit behind trying to catch up this one's going to need better support as you can see and uh it's already too big if you notice see how it's starting to it's ready to be transplanted very important that you keep an eye on these plants because once you start out growing the containers it's very important that you start transplanting them uh, i recommend you to transplant them um, right early early in the morning uh, out of sun you don't want to be in direct sunlight i always like to do them in the evenings or early in the mornings these plants were uh, in August now, but these plants will still yield some peppers again. Um, some some can very easily be throwing peppers throughout the whole season, but again, it just depends. Greenhouse, or you're gonna take them indoors with some some appropriate uh, lighting, heat lamps and things like that to keep them warm. Um, some of these, like I said, these uh, plants, have got, like I said, remember um, that they were kind of chewed up by the deer. They're starting to come back. Um, just keep an eye like I said when they start out growing their pots you got to start thinking about transplanting uh, also you want to be trying uh, right when they're at their highest peak of producing flower and ready to produce uh, peppers and things like that um, you might want to be fertilizing these plants especially your container ones um, yeah, at least at once every 14 days um, I like to use fish emulsion uh, it's more of an organic way of, of, of uh, doing this. It, it works pretty well. It helps with the pepper production, flower production. Just keeps them a lot healthier. Um, you don't have to use fish emulsion, but I just feel like it's just worked out better uh, for me. See, you got this reaper. I know it looks a little um, long. Um, I'm not sure. I, I, I guess it's strange because this one, I, uh, I topped it and um so uh, again for right now i have to kind of rig them real quick uh so they can get some support because like i said they will break off see this one right here pay pay close attention to once they start getting bigger this is my one of my habaneros they're going to start losing you know they can break off with wind rainwater. Uh, again i'm going to start reinforcing these uh put them in bigger containers of course and then uh, reinforce them with some tomato uh cages so like I said, some of my uh, people or some of the groups that I'm following online, um, they uh, have been very helpful to me and, and giving me good tips. Um, so hopefully uh, I uh, will be able to do this. Uh, make sure, like I said, you water them just enough and that they have good drainage, these pepper plants. Uh, I wanted to show you guys this because I know it's been a couple months, I guess. I have not shown any updates. My habanero plants produce peppers. I picked them. I think you saw when I had some of the habaneros. I picked them, took them inside. I made some hot sauce. I have a few in the refrigerator. Uh, habaneros, their little flesh is very, very thin. Uh, keep them away from sunlight. Keep them away from window panes. Uh, if you're going to think about drying them, my suggestion is probably use a dehydrator or so probably just put them in the refrigerator. Um, so see right here, they're starting to throw a lot more little little pods there little seed uh, flowers so I'm hoping these won't drop once this temperature start cooling off a little bit more um, but again uh, some a little housekeeping a lot of work that I got to do uh, do a better job of reinforcing these uh, some most of these have been topped or they've been assisted in topping by get eaten up uh, some by the deer a very very important that the, you like i said you do reinforce these plants once they start getting bigger keep an eye on the pots and you make sure you transfer them and put them into bigger pots if necessary uh and as far as like i said the fertilizers uh i'm i'm looking at um using some fish emulsion again and um probably some of that uh i think it's called blood meal or something like that they said that's good for your habaneros and uh reapers and things like that um, as you can see, uh, a lot of these different varieties uh, that I have, got some habaneros growing uh, again, like I said. Um, I even went out and, and I was given these ornamental plants, which I went ahead and uh, transferred and made four of them. So pretty cool. Uh, got some picking going. Um, 
So just kind of wanted to give you an update. Uh, like I said, I need to do a better job of reinforcing these. Like I said, you don't want to, you want to be very careful with uh, with this wind picking up. What will happen is it'll just snap your plants off. Uh, be careful, like I said, make sure that you have some reinforcement there to support, better support for your plants. Um, like I said, uh, and, and this is, like I said, just a segment on my pepper. So I've got some other plants going on for right now, but we'll talk about that another time. Um, if I'm not mistaken, pepper plants tend to be uh, self-pollinators. They do bear the both female and male parts, I believe, um, so they can self-pollinate. Uh, with these temperatures and things like that, like I said, it's pretty, uh, been very, very hot. Uh, pepper plants tend to do a lot better when the temperatures drop to at least 80 degrees in the evenings at night time and then it stays cooler during the day um, and another thing you have to do again I was like such in a rush to try to transplant all these plants is make sure you label them because sometimes they kind of start looking similar uh, this one right here um, I believe this might be cayenne pepper at this time I'm not even sure because I transferred it but over and it kind of looks like a it might be cayenne pepper or some of my kong power peppers but i guess when they get bigger then that's when i'll be able to know but uh, uh like i said flowers are coming up so my thing is i just wanted to do a latest update a lot of these i have here on the porch um the other ones are towards the back i will do a, uh, an update once they start throwing the flowers again um, if you guys have any comments or questions, just let me know. Okay, so hope you guys have a great evening and we'll talk to you later.